Hello everyone, welcome back. Please comment, rate, subscribe, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does watch, like, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. It's time to talk. It is time to talk, baby. Listen, we got a lot of things going on. A lot of things have transpired these last couple of days. Uh, first thing I want to talk about uh, before I get to, you know, the, the little spiel I have coming about, you know, some guys that are in free agency that I think we should definitely uh, look to get on this roster you know, one of the guys that was on our team last year got snatched up, uh, Ty Montgomery. Um, he's a guy that's going to be going, playing for the Saints this year. He just inked the deal. Man, shout out to shout out to that guy, man. I mean, this was a guy that came in. He was all class, respectable guy, hard worker, uh, you know, came in, has a great skill set. Uh, when he was given the ball, he, was, he went out there and, and did his thing. I um, mean, now, you know, he's heading over to the Saints, and he's going to be you know, over there with Sean Payton, and I know that they're going to use him, and man, he is going to, I could really see him doing big things over there, so shout out to Ty Montgomery, man, I wish you nothing but the best, have a good one, man, you're a classy dude, man, so good luck to you over there, um, so with that said, I want to talk about just two free agents that I'm looking at right now, and I'm like, come on, Jets, I need you to, you know, I want to see you make a move and get one of these guys, so one of them's name is Larry Walford, uh, played for the New Orleans Saints. <laughs> you know, they just signed, signed Ty Montgomery, but he played for the Saints. Um, they actually just released him uh, recently, and he's been on the market. This is a guy that is a Pro Bowl guard. I mean, he's all business. This is a kid that, you know, has you know a lot of time left as well in the league. I think he's like 28, 27 or 28, something like that. Um, and... Dude, he's good, and he's been on the market for a little bit. Um, there have been some buzz around him. I know the Jets, uh, you know, there's been some reports that we've, you know, done our due diligence, and we've, you know, tried to contact, but there hasn't been anything inked. And, um, you know, I just, I, want, I really want us to get in the mix for this guy. Um, this is, again, offensive line, offensive line, offensive line. We talked about it. You watched the offensive line last season. There was issues. If you can add a piece like this, like a Pro Bowl guard to your line, whoo, it makes your line a whole hell of a lot better than it is currently. So I would really like to see us attack and really go after this guy. Because, again, we need to see Sam uh, protected. And especially when we can do things like, you know, maybe release or uh, cutting Brian Winters. If we release him, you know, that, that frees up, a, you know, quite a little bit of cap space. And that'll go a long way in a signing book. For that may be just enough to get him in the first place, you know. So... We definitely should be in the mix for that guy, and I would really like to see him on this roster to better this offensive line. Um, the next guy that, you know, there were reports flying about him all over the place. <laughs> I mean, some some people had him, you know, all but signed to the Jets. I mean, pretty much that, hey, he was it was a done deal. He was going to be playing corner for us. And that's Logan Ryan. Uh, Logan Ryan, uh, you know, has been floating around out there. And all of a sudden, there's all these reports flying around saying the Jets have signed them. The Jets are going to ink a deal. It's said and done, and nothing comes from it. You know, then he goes on to, you know, a, a morning show and pretty much says, no, I'm not signed to the Jets, but I am, you know, out there looking, and I would really like some teams. You know, there's reports that he's looking for $10 million a season. You know, there were also reports that we were trying to get him for a one-year deal. It was just kind of all over the place there. So I don't know if that was, you know, him and his agent working that up or you know if you know they were really interested it's kind of all smoke right now but this is a guy that I think could could be beneficial to us as well uh, we all know that corner has also been a weak point for us too of course we addressed uh, that number one spot with Pierre Desir uh, but if you could get Logan Ryan in the door I wouldn't necessarily be against it um, but again it have to be you'd have to look at the price that he want to come in with I want to be very clear. I, I would prefer that we go after Warford before we go after uh, Ryan because I think offensive line is such an, a, a huge need here, um, particularly, again, when we're talking about investing and protecting Sam. Um, you know, we don't have like, a you know, $100 million to be spending. <laughs> but, you know, I, I think if we can get a Pro Bowl guard, I would pick him over Logan Ryan. But, you know, if we end up with Logan Ryan, I'm not going to, you know, kick and scream either. This is a guy that can come in. Uh, play some solid corner spot here, and he would fill a hole here as well in our secondary. You know what I'm saying? We could we could use him. You know, we could use a corner. We could use a solid corner. There's 
You know, no reason for us to turn our nose up at that. So I, I wouldn't have an issue with that. But I want you folks to comment down below. I want to get your thoughts on it. Uh, what are your thoughts on Larry Wolford and, and what he's out there, you know, possibly asking for? What are your thoughts on Logan Ryan? What are your thoughts about the reports kind of flying around and none of it really come to fruition with the Jets? Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, like, there was literally reports that we had pretty much, you know, signed him and it was being inked and it was going to be, um, you know, announced soon and then literally nothing happened so these two guys are still out there and uh, two guys i think can greatly benefit the jets kind of either way you go so i want to thank you folks for watching you folks have a good one peace